Trevor's a big, big man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, big guy. Yeah. He's a tough guy. Yeah. I've been studying his game for a long time since I got in a bulldog show uh, for the Russians. I never saw him fought before that too. I've been studying his game a long time. I know he's a tough guy. He's going to try to put me down and uh, drop some bomb. So I just try. I just did my game. Uh, I was Look for my time, the best time to go, and I yes, yeah. took over. It sounds like at some point you thought you were going to meet Trevor. Yeah, I know, I know, sooner or later, sooner or later we'll, okay. I'll be here. Yeah, yeah I was prepared for him, yeah. Did you feel the strength in the clinch? Mm -hmm. Not at all, not at all. That's what uh, I have in mind. My game plan was don't let him stay close. Trick my, to keep his distance, to put my jab, 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 don't let him come in, because uh, his strong game is uh, when he's in the clinch. You know that. How did you set up the finish? Uh, I was trying first to go for the overhand. Uh, I got up one time, he smiled, kind of nothing happened. So I just tried to really distract him and I dropped some low kicks. And after that, uh, I come back with the overhand that I got. You talked a little bit about it after the fight, but what is next? What do you want? Yeah. Well, obviously, you know, putting Shamra on, we can get it on. And, uh, you know, um, we'll have the show. And that's definitely what you want to do here. Right? Um, down the day, we'll be the place, you know. Yeah. Let's see if we get more cheers. But, you know, but the, I can't worry about the cheers. I, I, I got to worry about who can get raised and I want mine to be raised. Thank you. Thank you. How important of a fight was this, you know, going the distance? How important was that to you mentally? To, to know that you can go the distance in the fight. You know what? I knew I can go the distance because Tony took me to the third round last time, and uh, the, the difference was Tony was a lot sharper, so it was easier to fight. While Sam, he came swinging for the fences, and you know I saw him uh, his highlights, and he knocked out Dwayne with a uh, like lead hook fo followed by a straight right. So I was expecting the straight to come, so I leaned this way, and all of a sudden I got caught in the eye with a, like a looping, looping right. I kind of like blurred my vision a little bit, so I, I, I just recomposed and I just started, you know, you know, going to work. I actually, when I got hit, I got a little angry, so I started swinging a little hard. I just kind of hyperextended my elbow, you know, but you know what, and my corners are, hey, uh, you know, stay relaxed, relax, you know, keep it in the center, and when I threw them, you know what, I do work a lot of jiu-jitsu, for some reason I didn't feel that comfortable, but all of a sudden I had like a, like a Kimura, I'm like, hey, it's a Kimura, but I, like, at the same time, um, I heard my corner say, hey, uh, let him up, let him up, I'm like, okay, I'll let him up, so. Did you want to finish it uh, by jiu-jitsu? You know what, if I would have got submission, then I would have probably, I would probably be able to do two backflips in a row, but uh, it didn't happen, and I almost landed on my face again, so I'm just glad I got this fight with a big W and with another KO. And uh, you remember, of course, uh, Dr. Sandek uh, Sol Muay Thai School, so I'm good at that too, but I'm an MMA fighter, I'm training all rounds, so uh, I'm going to be good at that in the next fight. Hey, Alistair, I'm sorry, I'm trying to come to you late, so how are you? Okay, um, can you talk about uh, moving up in weight, um, in the future weight, you talked about weightlifting, and obviously moving up from the 205, how do you feel tonight? Are you in it? How did you feel tonight? Are you in it? Um, I feel actually exactly the same as the time I was I felt a little bit stronger than I could not do it. I could not do it. I could not do it. But um, I do believe that I need to gain a little bit more. I find the more difficult. As far as 250 pounds. Now, that's my 26 pounds more than me then, that's some uh, advantage. So I want to close that gap a little bit, maybe gain it to 35, 40, and uh, just be as strong as uh, I'm always in Chicago.
anyone ask about that modified choke you were doing on your butt? You were on the side. You went for that leg over the head guillotine. Could you explain what that move was? Because I'm not familiar with that. Uh, Somebody called it a Persian necktie. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure there's different names for it. It's a technique uh, I call out of my trainer. <laughs> what? At, my, at our gym, we, we experiment with our submission. Uh, this one, I uh, got this guy from the drawing board. So we named it after me. Alistine. 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 It's like in the um, special, especially if the Philippine doesn't work, so we see this one. The pork can take it, because I had it on him and he didn't like that, so I'm like, what was it exactly? Your arms and then you were using your legs, however, to walk up through what exactly it was? It's a choke on the side of the head, and uh, once it's, it's on you, it's like your neck is breaking. Now you strike force heavyweight champion. Is this a belt that you're, you're going to intend to defend? I mean, is this something that you're looking forward to doing? Yeah. This belt is mine and uh, it's going to be with me all and uh, it's going to stay with me for a long time.